If you go back now and look at the tapes on Harley, you would see her naturally do this, naturally move through here and the pelvis versus foot down, ooh, let me get up. And that's when adults start doing more and more, and that's when you start hearing they grunt. Oh, you know, oh, I'm getting off the floor, I'm getting old, because they don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. So just from that, feel this versus this. Mm -hmm. So see the difference? Just because, of, you know, because you've done the movements before, they're in your system, you just haven't played for them in a while. So that's all I'm doing with you. Whereas your kids, this is something they've never played with. So to expect them to know how to do it, that's where you're getting that conversation. And this is what's key between rehabilitation, which is sort of what I'm doing for you now. You've done the movements, maybe when you were three, I'm trying to coax them out of you again, versus habilitation, where you've never done these movements before. Mm -hmm. So if your child has just had six months on AFOs, let me tell you, this movement here is so foreign onto their bodies because They've been in a stuck position. They haven't played with, oh, my foot's coming over here, here. See now how side sitting is starting to get so Now I'm not asking you to side sit, but see how the positioning is there? And now what I can do, see, I don't need to lift it just yet, but see like what Arlie was doing, mm -hmm. to being able to free that lift of the pelvis. Just so I can show you the difference. To see how to just mm -hmm. lift your foot up, you have to think about yep. it. Whereas here, it's much more your back swaying and, and lifting. Now, I'm not asking you to put your foot in your mouth. Again, that would be a more complex. I'm just looking for the initiation. Now, look at the difference. Just from playing with that versus here. Yeah, no, that's good.